Welcome to a lesson on multi-step equations. The goal of solving a linear equation is to isolate the variable on one side of the equation. But for multi-step equations, we we'll have to perform multiple operations to both sides of the equation in order to accomplish this goal. Looking at example one, we have x minus five equals four x plus seven. To solve multi-step equations, we'll follow the steps outlined here. So step one, we want to simplify each side of the equation remove parentheses if necessary, and collect like terms. Step one does not apply for example one because we cannot simplify the left side or the right side because there are no like terms or parentheses. So we'll move along to step two, but actually step two and three go together. For step two, we'll add or subtract terms on each side of the equation so that all the terms containing the variable are on one side and all the constant terms are on the other. And while we'll do this, we'll be applying step three at the same time where we simplify each side of the equation by combining like terms. So again, looking at our equation, notice how we have x terms on both sides of the equation. If we're trying to isolate x on one side, we need to have the variable terms on one side and the constants on the other. So let's say we want the variables to be on the left side, even though it doesn't matter which side we select. If we don't want this four x on the right side of the equation, to undo a positive four x, we would subtract four x on both sides of the equation. And now we'll go ahead and simplify. So notice on the left side we have x or one x minus four x, which would be negative three x. And then we still have minus five equals, on the right side, four x minus four x is zero, so we only have seven on the right side. Notice now we have a basic two-step equation, but following step two, we want all the constants on the right, so we don't want this minus five on the left, so to undo minus five, we perform the opposite operation and add five to both sides of the equation. And again, we simplify. Notice that negative five plus five is zero, so now we have the equation negative three x equals seven plus five equals twelve. So now we're actually on step four, where we multiply or divide in order to isolate the variable on one side of the equation. And since negative three x means negative three times x, to undo this multiplication and isolate x, we divide both sides by negative three. Notice on the left side, negative three divided by negative three simplifies the one. One times x is just x. On the right we have twelve divided by negative three, which equals negative four. We've isolated the variable, and therefore we have our solution, x equals negative four. Now step five is to check our solution, so we'll substitute negative four for x in the original equation to make sure it satisfies the equation. So on the left we'd have x minus five, which would be negative four minus five, equals, on the right we have four x plus seven, which would be four times negative four plus seven. And now we'll simplify both sides, negative four minus five is equal to negative nine. On the right side, four times negative four is equal to negative sixteen. So we have negative sixteen plus seven, and negative sixteen plus seven is negative nine. Since we have a true statement here, negative nine equals negative nine, our solution checks. We could also verify this on the calculator. Notice that negative four minus five is equal to negative nine, and so is the right side of four times negative four plus seven. So our solution once again checks. Looking at example two, step one does apply this time. We want to simplify each side of the equation. We want to remove the parentheses if necessary and collect like terms. So we first want to clear the parentheses, so we'll distribute the three on the left side and we'll distribute five on the right side. So three times four n would be twelve n. Three times negative two is negative six, so we have minus six equals. On the right side we distribute five, five times n is five n, and five times three is fifteen, so we have plus fifteen. No other simplifying is required because we don't have like terms on the same side of the equal sign. So now we'll move along to step two, where we'll add or subtract terms on each side of the equation so that all the terms containing the variable are on one side and all the constants are on the other. So again, let's have all the n terms on the left 
and the constants on the right. So notice how we don't want 5n here on the right side of the equation. So to undo 5n, since this is positive 5n, we'll subtract 5n on both sides. And now we'll simplify. So again, we're combining step two and three at the same time. Notice on the right side, 5n minus 5n is zero. So now our equation is 12n minus 5n, that's 7n, minus six equals 15. Again, we have a basic two-step equation here, but following step two, we want the constants on the right, so we don't want this minus six on the left. So to perform the opposite operation, or undo minus six, we now add six to both sides of the equation. And again, we simplify. Notice negative six plus six is zero. So now our equation is seven n equals 15 plus six equals 21. Step four, we want to multiply or divide in order to isolate the variable. Seven n means seven times n. So to undo this multiplication and isolate n, we divide both sides by seven. Seven divided by seven simplifies to one. One times n is n. 21 divided by seven equals three. We've isolated n, so we have our solution, n equals three. Let's go ahead and check this. So we'll substitute three for n in the original equation. So we'll have three times the quantity, four times n would be four times three, minus two equals five, times the quantity n, which is three, plus three. Now we'll simplify, we'll simplify inside the parentheses first. So on the left, we have three times the quantity. We multiply first, so we'll have 12 minus two equals five, times the quantity, three plus three is six. Now simplifying inside these parentheses here, 12 minus two is equal to 10, so we have three times 10 equals five times six. Well, three times 10 is 30, five times six is 30. The left side equals the right side, and therefore n equals three satisfies the equation, and our solution checks. Checking on the calculator, we want to verify the left side equals the right side. So on the left side, we have three times the quantity four times three minus two, close parenthesis, enter. So we know the left side is equal to 30. And now for the right side, we'd have five times the quantity three plus three, which is also 30. Let's look at one more example. Again, the first step is to simplify each side of the equation, remove parentheses if necessary, and collect like terms. So we'll clear the parentheses here because of the subtraction by distributing negative one, and here we'll distribute positive two. So again, we'll distribute here, as well as here as our first step. So we'll have four and then we distribute negative one. Negative one times two y is negative two y or minus two y. And then negative one times negative one is positive one, so plus one equals, on the right side we distribute two, two times five y is 10 y. Two times nine is 18, so plus 18. And then plus y, which we can also write as plus one y. We're still on step one. We now want to collect like terms on the left and on the right. So notice here we have two constant terms. On the right side we have two y terms. So one plus four is five, so we have five minus two y equals, on the right, 10 y plus one y is 11 y, so we have 11 y plus 18. Now step two and also step three, we'll add or subtract terms on each side of the equation, so all the terms containing the variable are on one side and the constants are on the other, and while we do this, we'll apply step three and simplify each side by combining like terms. So let's have the variable terms on the left side and the constants on the right. So notice how we don't want this 11y on the right, so to undo 11y, we'll subtract 11y on both sides. Now we'll simplify. Notice on the right side, 11y minus 11y is zero. So on the left side, we have five, and then negative two y minus 11y is negative 13y, so we have minus 13y equals 18. And now we want the constants on the right, so we don't want this positive five on the left. So to undo positive five, we'll subtract five on both sides. And again, we'll simplify. 
So notice how five minus five is zero. So we have negative 13y equals 18 minus five is equal to 13. Step four, multiply or divide to isolate the variable. Negative 13y equals negative 13 times y. So to isolate y and solve the equation, we divide both sides by negative 13. Simplifying, negative 13 divided by negative 13 simplifies to one. One times y is y. On the right, we have 13 divided by negative 13, which equals negative one. So our solution is y equals negative one. And now for our check, we substitute negative one for y. So we would have four minus the quantity two times negative one minus one equals two times five y, which would be five times negative one plus nine. And then we have plus y, which would be plus negative one. And now we'll simplify inside the parentheses first. So we have four minus, inside the parentheses we multiply first. Two times negative one is negative two. On the right we have five times negative one, that's negative five. Still simplifying inside the parentheses, we have four minus, negative two minus one is negative three. And negative five plus nine is four. Now we multiply, so we have four minus negative three equals two times four is eight. Four minus negative three is the same as four plus three, which equals seven. And eight plus negative one is equal to seven. Since seven equals seven is true, y equals negative one satisfies the equation and is the solution. Checking on the calculator, on the left we have four minus the quantity two times negative one minus one. Close parenthesis, enter. The left side is equal to seven, and for the right side we have two, open parenthesis, five times negative one plus nine, close parenthesis, and then plus negative one, which is also seven. I hope you found this helpful.